Hi, my name's Ori Monroe. I'm the COO of MMH Productions. We're a small production company in the Midwest. My question for today comes from Alisa, and that question is, how do you feel working with method actors from a directing perspective? And uh, I can only assume that you mean the Strasbourg method, um, or the method uh, that's popularized and very successful with the Actor Studio in New York. And that's derived from the Stanislavski method, but the two are really different. <clears throat> Apologies. The Stanislavski method asks the character, the actor, to put themselves into the position of the character from the perspective of the character. So to, to kind of draw on your history, your emotions, your feelings from the perspective of the character with a big focus on the character. Now the Strasbourg method, Strasbourg method, has pulled it a little bit a step further and it's more becoming the character. So, so it's immersing yourself in that for a temporary time to get a really good experiential view of how you interpret that character. And, and that's something that's called substitution. So, so you're substituting their life, the character's life into your experience for a while. So both of those methods, I haven't had any problem at all. It's, it's, I don't really look at that. It's not, it's not really a, a factor in working with actors, really. Um, it has more to do with the actor, how they approach their craft, and how they treat other people, how they look at themselves, how much they're willing to develop into the role. Um, I myself trained a little bit with the Strasbourg method back in the day when I was acting, and then moved into the Chekhov method. If you're not familiar with Chekhov, it's a really popular technique and probably not as well marketed, not as well popularized as the Strasbourg method. But it's also taking a similar principle as to the actors draw upon their feelings, their experiences, their emotions to create the character only it's in the context of their environment, in the context of what's going on, using all five senses. So it's, what does that character see in the context? And, and what are you drawing from that? Smell, taste, hear, feel. And, and it's using all of that. And, and it, there's a concept called radiation or radiating in, from the, in the Chekhov method, which you take that and you radiate that out to the environment, to other actors, to make that character happen. I, I feel that from a directing perspective, I use that approach because I, I like a genuine, unrehearsed, visceral character. Um, a lot of my stuff is controversial, a lot of the stuff is deep, and I really need to draw on that individual's ability to develop that character. I'm looking, I'm looking at that through the whole project as it is that believable because the worst thing that I can see an actor doing is acting. And I, I that <laughs> this might sound a little wild, but it's, it's the worst thing. If, if I can see an actor acting and you, you know, I think you know what I mean by that. It, it, it's so blatantly, obvious and it takes away from the story, it takes away from the experience. So, so that with all of that background, the answer to the question is that regardless of the theoretical orientation of the actor, I don't find that any applied method is more difficult to deal with than any other, but sometimes actors just in and of themselves are sometimes difficult to deal with just like any other profession. So a really good thing is with proper direction, and I hope that I have proper direction, you can help an actor move through to achieve what it is you're looking for through the application of various approaches. But what's more difficult is if the problem is who the actor is on a personal level and how they view the world and how they view the project and how they view their, their place in the production. You, you can't do a whole lot with that. Um, so, the, so, so I'm sorry that I don't have a 
specific answer like oh if you're trained with this philosophy then you're much better off than you're trained with that philosophy it's a very personal decision and it's whatever works for you as a professional to help you develop in the way that you need to develop is probably the best way and that helps everybody else around you from cast to crew to production to create the best product that you can so that's the answer to that question for the day if anybody's looking for resources or training in the checkoff method please feel free to drop me a line and i might be able to help you out with that but otherwise please take a look at our videos um, subscribe if you can or if you feel like it i'd appreciate it a lot and share them with other people because we'll have questions quite an, a bit and i'm definitely working on making sure that we have a more consistent level of videos youtube is relatively new for us so have a great day and hopefully see you soon and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.